Hey, what's up guys? Jack from Half Grown. Today I want to talk to you about some of the curious decisions that I think FR Sky or Free Sky is making, uh, specifically with their X9 Lite and X Lite Pro. Stay tuned. So here's the thing, both the X9 Lite and the X Lite Pro, they don't work with uh, the drones that you already have. They use a different protocol, something called the Access Protocol. Now, what that means is you're going to have to buy new receivers or flash some of the receivers that you currently have in those drones, which means you won't be able to use them with the current radios you have. And to me, that's an issue. They didn't make it backwards compatible, so that's a problem, right? So that means if you invest in one of these radios, you have to invest in another receiver. And I'm not a big fan of that. Now, there are some things that I do like about this access protocol. It's supposed to be better latency. You can use a quad on multiple radios. You can bind wirelessly. There are a lot of really cool things coming. There's 24 channels. I don't need 24 channels, but you, you can do that. Um, so there are some things with this protocol that are nice, but because it's not backwards compatible, that's going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people. Now the X9 Lite looks like an inexpensive starter radio, uh, was $59.99, $69.99, now it's $79.99. Um, is that really that much cheaper than the QX7? Not, you know, not a whole lot cheaper if you factor in that you have to buy a new receiver um, or flash some of the compatible ones or soon to be compatible receivers uh, with this new uh, firmware. So a lot of the X series um, will be compatible. They're not yet. Um, and the D16 will be, but not the D8 protocol. So, uh, you know, you have to keep that in mind. So the, the question is, why? Why is FreeSky doing this? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Um, and I think this actually goes into another argument. What's going on with the jumper uh, free sky conflict that they have with this T16 now uh, supposedly now I don't have any sources that can actually verify where this letter came from but uh, free sky is saying that if you sell this jumper T16 um, we're gonna not work with you or you need to um, do something so that we will and if you if you notice that Banggood actually pulled the jumper T16 off of their shelves they're saying that it's a copy um, or infringement on their Horus radio. You know, there's the whole open TX, it's open source, open code, the hardware is different. You know, I'm not going to get into all of that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this argument, uh, but it seems that uh, FreeSky is feeling a little bit of pressure from other people in the industry and trying to make changes that basically eliminate their competition, right? So if I buy their new receivers, I'm sorry, if I buy their new radios, then I have to buy their new receivers and we have this happy marriage um, and by the way this new protocol is encrypted so it's going to be more difficult for other people to copy it um, and use it so you have to get all of your stuff from free sky right they built this uh, growing empire uh, especially in the quad industry um, where people recognize them as the leaders so they want to keep that and by by squashing the competition or limiting uh, competition's entry into the market um, and kind of creating a new uh, product that has this new line that is only accessible to them allows them to do that. Now, I think they've overlooked a couple of things, right? Um, people recognize what they're doing. The whole uh, argument uh, with Jumper is really kind of ridiculous, seen as uh, Free Skies kind of did the same thing um, to build their radios, to build their protocol. So now they're trying to keep someone else from basically copying what they did to be successful. And I think that's kind of garbage. I have a ton of FreeSky products. I love their remotes. Um, but when Jumper came along and said, you know what? We're gonna make a multi-protocol remote. I thought, well, gosh, that's a great idea. Why is no one doing this? I wanna be able to fly my toy grade quads, my Spectrum stuff, my FlySky stuff, and my FreeSky stuff with the same remote. Now there are, of course, modules that you can put in either the QX7 um, or even some of these Jumper remotes, but Jumper was really the first one to do that. And instead of FreeSky saying, hey, you know what, this is a great idea, we should do something like that. They said, you know what, I don't want people to play the same game as us, so we're gonna change the rules a little bit. And I just don't think that's quite right. In fact, I wanna know what you think, all right? Do you think uh, FreeSky is doing uh, the right thing? Is anyone gonna make that argument? 
if they want to be the leaders, then they should be the one to innovate. And I do think this access protocol does that to a degree. Um, but I just wonder how hard would it be to make backwards compatible. Um, maybe I'm wrong, uh, but I think if you're able to flash the firmware onto these, there are engineers that are smart enough to make it um, so that you can both go in both directions. If they want to be the leader, then they need to continue to innovate, not try to squash someone else that comes along with a great idea. Make theirs better. Make Free Sky better. You know what, I put a challenge to you. I, I think it's kind of garbage. Um, now I don't have a T16 remote, they're 150 bucks. I've got a bajillion of, room, of, uh, of radios here. I don't need another one. But you know what, give me some comments. If I get 150 comments, that's like, you know, it's 150 bucks for the remote. If I get 150 comments, I'll buy one of those jumpers and I'll make that my daily driver. So let me know what you think. Should I do that or should I ride the Free Sky train, right? Maybe this access protocol is the bee's knees. I just don't know. Uh, we shall soon find out. I do have an X9 on the way because um, I got to test these things, right? But, you know, I kind of feel a little dirty about it. It just doesn't sit quite right with me, right? The specs on it don't make it look like a premium quality radio. Um, it looks to be an entry level thing. I predict that in the future, instead of seeing those Fly Sky remotes, we're going to see some uh, Free Sky remote paired with those Eashin. Uh, wizards and things like that, and I think this X9 Lite just might be that radio. Time will tell. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below on my way off base. If I am, hey, let me know. If I'm not, if you're on board, let me know that too. But uh, either way, times are changing. Good luck, happy flying.